So, um, okay. So, I'm actually going to make a different kind of video, but I thought since my other videos, the Michael Jackson tribute, part 1, part 2, and part 3, is not that hit, because I just keep ranting and stuff like that. I thought I'd make another one, but with all the information that people need to hear that all of it. And um, if you're wondering why I put part 1, part 2, part 3, you got part 1 and part 2 are meant to be together, but the internet connection was so slow that I had to divide it to two parts. So um, that's why. <coughs> See, I've always felt bad that how people treat Mark Jackson and throw a monster. And, um, and actually, um, loads of people made loads of videos. For example, for example, Kev Jumba, he made a video in the back in the days, like, about Michael Jackson, um, just look at the clip. Michael Jackson is a great singer, an absolutely amazing dancer, but people forget his skill in dancing, his skill in singing, just because he was accused of touching little boys. Wow, do you see the way he says, amazing dancer? The amazing dancer. Amazing dancer. So anyways, in the Michael Jackson tribute video, I'm ranting a lot, and basically in the video, I'm just talking about how people treat him like, shh, terrible. So last night I did a lot of research and I want to see if he was crazy as the media wrote about him. I want to find facts to defend this poor old man who had been ridiculed for the history of life. One of the main reasons that Michael Jackson was weird is that people thought he bleached his skin white because he wanted to turn to a white person. Which isn't true. Because if you read about Michael Jackson, you'll see he has skin cancer and a disease called vitiligo, which makes his skin go white and he has white patches in the, on his skin. And as you go older, your skin turns more and more white. So you go all white. Instead of going around walking with white blob or patches of white skin everywhere, he did the only human thing to do. Doctors told him to deep in his skin the one complexion which had to be white. So that's the thing that he did. So he agreed to it, which is normal. So basically for so many years people have been making fun of him because he had skin cancer. Round of applause. Great job. Picking on a guy who's got cancer. So um, one of the main reasons why everyone thinks Michael Jackson is a freak is because he had plastic surgery on his nose. And if you want to pick on someone who did plastic surgery on the nose, you have to find out why they did that. But Michael Jackson's father, Joe Jackson, who had been known for abusing him as a kid, made fun of him when he was a kid, calling him Big Nose. So constantly, when he grew up, his father would nickname and call him Big Nose. So think about it. If your dad, who's meant to be supporting you, called you Big Nose all your life, you'd be pretty pissed. So I remember in primary school, when I was in year two, when I was seven years old, people used to make fun of me because I used to wear glasses. Yeah, I used to wear glasses. And I still do. And I remember I used to always break my glasses and like get picked on, be called names like Specky, Geek, Freak. And it hurt my feelings. So it's normal for Michael Jackson to get plastic surgery on his nose because for most of his life his dad called him Big Nose. And lastly, what people think is proper weird is because they think he's a pedophile which is not true because he was pronounced not guilty around four years in court so um i don't want to get into it because i because my other video is proper long i can't be asked uploading it a proper long video and that so the truth the fact is no one knows if he molested them little boys or done anything because there's no evidence there's no proof but it's unfortunate that people are fixed in thinking that he's a pedophile when he's not and they don't know if he is or not. However, there is proof that he was a really, really good person. In the Guinness World Book of Records, Michael Jackson, the most supported charity celebrity ever in history because he's, he's donated more than 39 charities which is more than any other celebrities have donated. I bet you the news didn't tell you about that one. Also, most of the songs is about racial stuff and poverty and stuff. And to make people sing along with them songs is a big success for a, a singer. Do you know what I mean? So um, the point of this video is to show that Michael Jackson is a really good person. And to have so much 
trap put on him is a terrible thing. I don't know how I would deal with it if the media would say I'm a pedophile or something like that, which I am not. So um, before I go, I want to thank Michael Jackson. So I, I hope he's rest in peace. And I want to thank him because I know his legs will go on and the moon will be legendary in, in 100 or 200 years and people going to remember him and they, they remember him saying this is it and um, that's it. So thank you.